We're Team Safe Vaccine. We're a BioE ECE senior design team here at the ODEC. And back in September, we were posed with the design challenge to um, tackle vaccine storage and handling practices in Harris County. Several years ago, I conducted a study using graphic output data loggers in Houston, Texas at a series of indigent care clinics that provide immunizations to uh, low-income patients. The results of the study showed that approximately 50% of the refrigerators were exposing vaccines to out-of-parameter temperatures and that of that group approximately one quarter of those refrigerators were exposing vaccines to temperatures that were at or below freezing. And freezing vaccines is bad because they, that reduces the potency of vaccines and it can and leads to an increased incidence of diseases like pertussis and that's been correlated in research studies too. So first we have to deal with temperature control. So these facilities use standard kitchen refrigerators like you would have in your house. These have you know, an arbitrary one to seven numbered dial and that doesn't really correlate to a specific temperature range that the vaccines need to be kept in. So we needed to develop a system that's compatible with any standard kitchen refrigerator and can be installed with some, by somebody with no real technical knowledge. It is a computerized refrigerator. You're taking a standard kitchen refrigerator that has this analog you know, outdated kind of control mechanism, and you're adding these additional temperature sensors inside of it in order to um, provide a better control system for the refrigerator. And you're doing this with the existing refrigeration equipment that's already here. Um, and it's, it's all done through this little switching device here that switches power on and off to the refrigerator in order to control the temperature inside the refrigerator. So when we went to go talk with the nurses um, over at the clinics that we were testing at, they actually pointed to the fact that their inventory management procedures were quite frankly, just repetitive and tedious for them. Um, so we decided that we would add on a little feature to this, or actually became quite a big feature, um, where we would completely uh, manage their inventory for them. So instead of all the manual repetitive um, tasks that they would have to do in order to keep, keep track of their inventory, um, we simply would have the system, our system um, go ahead and generate a barcode, and a barcode, the barcode is then placed on each box that way that all the, all the relevant information that's, um, that's pertinent to each box um, is encoded inside the computer. And every time that information um, is needed by the nurse, whenever they're administering a vaccine, all that has to be done is the barcode is scanned and all of the forms are, are filled out automatically and um, it saves a lot of time for the nurses. And it, it cuts out a lot of the, um, a lot of the error that's come, that comes up with the repetitive uh, data entry. One way to solve this problem is to buy very expensive vaccine refrigerators with, and also utilize backup power generators in areas of the town that have erratic electrical supplies. In order to do this, it would cost literally thousands of dollars. What the students of Rice are working on is a very low cost device, which will not only regulate a standard household refrigerator, but record its temperature, assist in documentation required for vaccines for children, and ultimately provide power backup to the refrigerator itself. Overall, I think we um, built, we were able to achieve our main goal of building a device that's widely compatible and very cost friendly um, and that can control these refrigerators and keep the vaccine safely within parameters.